So this thing's back in the game. I haven't played much tier seven as of late since this just got dropped back into the game, but I do remember when this thing came out and man, was it an absolute menace. The tier seven Udachi, extremely strong torpedoes, pretty good reload on them. And now everyone's got access to get this boat. So this gives me an idea. This is gonna be a how-to combat the Udachi. Yes, this thing is very strong for what it is, but there has been some things that have come out since this thing was a campaign ship. I'm willing to bet this thing probably isn't as strong as it was when it came out as a campaign, since there are so many counters to it. But today we're gonna talk about how to combat this thing. The first and most obvious thing is gonna be play something that has a radar, whether it's a Missouri or one of these radar cruisers here. Radar, by and large, absolutely is the way to combat it, but let's say you don't really wanna play this every time you go into a tier seven match. Off the top of my head, I mean, I would think one of the best ships to combat the Udachi from the destroyer perspective would probably be the Lightning. Being that you have such a long duration Hydro, you can spot them if they decide to sit in their smoke screen. And more importantly, when they go to throw torpedoes at you, they're pretty much null and void because you can see them so far away coming at you and you can just dodge them. Obviously, running a gunboat is a pretty good combat to it unless they have a really good concealment and you have a really bad concealment. If this is the case, then they're gonna be able to turn and just throw torpedoes at you constantly and you're not gonna spot them long enough to do enough damage to really kill them without the help of your team. So personally, if I had to pick, I would pick something nimble that's got fast firing shells and a pretty good radar. My pick would have to be something like Ochakov. Possibly you could get away with like a Chappie as well, though you can get punished in these Russian ships. Both are really good though. Obviously on that note, something like Wichita or like Cleveland, they would both be pretty good, Baltimore, but you do suffer a little bit from the long duration of the reload. You kind of got to take the good with the bad there. But for this example, I'm going to play Ochakov. First things first, we really need to identify how the people that play IGN DDs, how they really like to play. They like to go for damage, right? They like to go for flanks. They try and get behind the team. That's why something like Ochakov, I think, is really nice because you've got the speed on your side. You've got the radar. You've got the reload. You've got all these different things that allow you to get out and around and kind of protect the flanks a little bit more. Please don't hurt me, Azuma. I'm gonna have a chance to radar this guy right here. He just threw AP at me. Don't hurt me. That's fine. So this lightning, he's trying to get out here to this cap, right? Well, this is kind of exactly how the Udachi players are gonna try and play as well. They're gonna try and be out here on the flank. Uh, this isn't everyone's favorite map in the world but we gotta deal with it, right? Okay, beautiful. So pretty much our job is almost done here. These guys are all gonna get reset. There's no way they're gonna get the cap unless another DD shows up. If they do, I don't really have to worry about it too much. My radar will be back in two and a half. A lot less if one of these guys comes over here. So for now, we're just gonna disengage a little bit. We're gonna pull back as, you know, mission one is, is pretty much successful and done at this point. Okay. I mean, pretty much we're, this game's over with. We're, we might die, we might not, I don't know. Have to wait and see, but positioned ourselves correctly, guarded the flank, and the team is gonna clean up. There it is. Doesn't matter, we did our job. Now we're in the Wichita. So yes, we have a smaller radar size, but we're gonna try and use the Wichita to the same effect. We're gonna try to control the flanks and try and keep any destroyer kind of boxed into the middle. We don't want them to get around us for our team's sake and for our sake. Here's a great example of what you don't wanna do. You don't wanna just smoke up. You don't wanna do that. Um, and that was actually the Ibuki that killed them with Torps. It's pretty impressive. Good on the Ibuki. Uh, but yeah, you don't want to do that, especially when there's a bunch of Udachis or Shimas out lurking around. 
Those things are just absolute magnets. The, the smokes are magnets for random torpedoes. Well, I actually played three whole games and didn't see a single Udachi, so maybe not. there's not that many people that picked it up. I don't know. But being that it is back, not only for doubloons, but also for global, I assume there's going to be quite a few out there, but maybe there's not. Maybe it's nowhere near as bad as the Shima apocalypse, because I know the Shima thing was severe. Just remember, any kind of DD with Hydro, super good. If you're going to be a radar cruiser, try and control the flanks and kind of try and keep them boxed in. Don't let them have free reign to go around and try and get behind you, keep you spotted, torp you from behind, all that kind of stuff. Try and keep them boxed in. I hope this helps. Until next time, hope you have a good one. Peace!